Thank you for joining us for another segment of Uniquely Walla Walla. We're Michael and Molly Butler. Today we'll be spotlighting local business Blue Mountain Lavender Farms. Let's go check it out. So here we are with Karen at the Blue Mountain Lavender Farms. It's so great to meet you. Thank you for having us out today. Oh, my pleasure. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Yeah, we um, came here 23 years ago to this property and wanted to create kind of this bucolic um, lifestyle for our family. We, it kind of was about our family at the time. We had small children and we wanted to create a setting where they could um, just kind of learn life skills, learn to work, learn to dig in, sweat, yes. get dirty, and learn some business skills. So we created this thing together, and we've been at it now, obviously. So okay. is there some history to the there family is. history in the farm? My husband's a Frenchman, and we moved here from France um, about 25 years ago, and discovered that lavender can grow here in North America, and we thought, ooh, that's a neat idea. So yes. we started to kind of do our research, and when we, um, took a job opportunity here in the in the Walla Walla Valley. We just thought this might be our chance to explore lavender, um, see if it'll grow here, just kind of start planting and see where it takes us. So we had that kind of French culture mm -hmm. in mind. Um, our children were three and four when we moved here and we really wanted them to um, be able to enjoy the outdoors. After a couple of years, my parents joined us here on the property and they've been here with us for about 20 years and they've really dug in and been part of the work that we do on the farm too. Oh, I love really that. <laughs> that family mm -hmm. is really nice. Yeah, Very we're nice. a four generation family on the farm right now. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. In fact, oh man, our little two year old um, granddaughter was out yesterday when we were harvesting and she was just watching and watching. So I gave her a rubber band because it's super simple when we harvest. We use a knife to cut the lavender and a rubber band to bundle them. And I gave her one and she just started handling it. It's like oh, the, she knew just what to do. Like the, the grown ups. And I How gave cute. her a little bouquet and she was trying yeah. to wrap it up. Yeah. So I thought here's my next generation. Yeah. Yeah. So I love That's that. That's beautiful. And what's your favorite thing about working here, being here? I enjoy kind of the back workings of the farm, um, the quietness of the winter when I can yeah. build our stock, design yeah. new products. Um, I really enjoy the um, fabric part of the sachets and just designing the ribbons and things like that and um, just building up that part of the, the business. I would just ask you, do you have any events or special things that you would like to invite people to come out to? We do. We're always open on Father's Day and the mm. 4th of July mm -hmm. and we get, um, it's a pleasure to have people come out and spend part of their, yeah. those days here with us. And it's, it's beautiful time. out here. Yeah. yeah. So they, they can bring a picnic or just kind of come out and do you pick, enjoy the property here and then head on for the rest of their family celebration or whatever that might be for the day. Well, thank you so much for having us here. It's been so great to meet you and just check out your farm. It's oh, so beautiful Oh, thank you here. for coming. Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining us for the July segment of Uniquely Walla Walla at Blue Mountain Lavender Farm.